what's new from 2023. Sadly, each year, around 1,500 Australians and New Zealanders lose their lives on our roads, and tens of thousands are seriously injured. The majority of those killed or seriously injured are vehicle occupants, but pedestrians, motorcyclists and cyclists, our vulnerable road users, are also significantly affected. New vehicles offered to consumers today go well beyond the simple function of getting you from point A to point B. They are also far safer than they were 20, 10 or even 5 years ago. This has been achieved through the influence of ANCAP's independent test and star rating program and the dedication of vehicle manufacturers to offer safer vehicles for their customers. The safety features and technologies fitted to new vehicles continue to evolve, with new innovations entering the vehicle fleet each year. To ensure new car buyers and all road users benefit from these developments, ANCAP's test and rating requirements are also updated regularly. Every two years, the breadth and stringency of ANCAP's test and calculation methods increase to encourage vehicle manufacturers to continually strive for and deliver the safest vehicles possible. Here's a look at what's new from 2023. The requirements we set for each star rating level are designed to encourage vehicles that provide a good balance of passive safety, how well a vehicle will protect you and your occupants if you have a crash, and active safety, the ability for a vehicle to prevent or minimise the outcomes of a crash through active collision avoidance systems. Structural protection and the ability to actively avoid a crash are both essential to achieve a 5-star ANCAP safety rating, and this approach continues from 2023. All vehicles tested and rated by ANCAP from January 2023 must continue to meet minimum performance requirements across a broad range of destructive crash tests and active safety performance tests if they are to achieve a high ANCAP safety rating. Building on this, some of the key new elements from 2023 include Child Presence Detection Vehicles will be assessed for their ability to notify the driver or emergency services if a child has inadvertently been left in a locked car. CPD systems must monitor the rear seats and doors and provide a visual or audible warning through the vehicle's infotainment system upon exiting. A honk of the car horn, a notification or alert to an app on the driver's mobile phone, or an e-call alert to emergency services. More advanced systems may also have the ability to automatically open the windows of the vehicle or activate the vehicle's air conditioning system. Vehicle submergence. Powered windows and electric door handles may seem like a luxury, but in an emergency, they can be an obstacle. Vehicles trapped in floodwaters or those that find themselves in a lake, river or other body of water are a danger to their occupants and present difficulties for first responders. From 2023, Vehicle manufacturers will be required to demonstrate how their new vehicles can allow occupants to more easily escape a submerged vehicle or rescuers to access trapped occupants. ANCAP will assess whether car doors are able to be opened without battery power and electric windows remain functional and able to be opened for up to two minutes after submergence. Motorcycle detecting AEB and LSS ANCAP has been testing Autonomous Emergency Braking, or AEB systems, since 2018. AEB systems that can detect and respond to other cars, pedestrians and cyclists across a range of scenarios. From 2023, AEB systems that detect and respond to motorcycles are also being assessed. Referred to as AEB Powered Two-Wheeler, Vehicles will need to be fitted with an AEB system capable of braking for a motorcycle in intersection turning scenarios and where a motorcycle crosses in front of a car. Vehicles will also be tested for their ability to detect and prevent sideswipe type crashes with a motorcycle through more sophisticated active lane support systems. AEB head-on and junction crossing. As the name suggests, Vehicles are now also assessed for their ability to prevent head-on crashes with oncoming vehicles and with vehicles that may cross paths at an intersection. Head-on crashes are difficult to prevent because a high approach speed, or what we refer to as a closing speed, means that the technology in vehicles must detect and react to an oncoming vehicle from a longer distance. Car-to-car -car crossing scenarios have also been introduced 
to test a vehicle's ability to autonomously brake where vehicles may be on course to collide at a T-intersection or crossroad. This requires sensors with a wide field of view. Performance testing of AEB head-on and junction systems will encourage enhancements to vehicle systems to allow oncoming vehicles, approaching directly or at right angles, to be detected and autonomous braking applied to avoid or mitigate a crash. And finally, pedestrian and cyclist protection. Pedestrians and cyclists make up around 15% of all road-related fatalities. While this has been trending downwards slightly in recent years, pedestrians and cyclists remain some of our most vulnerable road users. ANCAP's pedestrian protection tests, where the vehicle is assessed for its pedestrian-friendly design, have been in place for over 20 years and progressively updated. From 2023, they have been further enhanced through the introduction of a new, more sophisticated leg form impactor. This new piece of test equipment more closely represents a full adult leg with upper body mass and provides a better insight into the injury risks presented by today's new vehicles. Collision avoidance testing, assessing the ability of the vehicle to actively avoid a crash with pedestrians and cyclists, has also broadened significantly from 2023. New test scenarios include AEB backover, assessing auto braking in reverse with a child pedestrian, AEB cyclist junction, where a cyclist crosses the path of a vehicle turning into a side street, and cyclist dooring, where a vehicle must alert the occupants of a cyclist approaching from behind before the car doors can be opened. A lot goes on behind each ANCAP star rating to ensure new car buyers and the road users they interact with are offered the safest vehicles and newest technologies. And with that, the message remains simple. Make sure you prioritise safety. Choose a vehicle with the highest safety rating possible with the latest tested year date stamp. It could save your life or the lives of those closest to you.